What's up friends? Welcome back to my YouTube channel and yeah, I'm really excited to share my new film title pack with you. It includes 66 film titles and in today's video I really want to show you how to use the titles in the proper way in DaVinci Resolve, how to install them and how to install the fonts. So let's do that. So good. All right, so let's start. All right, so the first thing that you see when you bought my film pack, many, many tanks, you will see these things right up here. You see film titles, fonts, installation guide, and read. So basically the film titles are the macro files. So this is basically what you want to install into DaVinci Resolve. I will show you that in a minute. And then you see all the fonts and double click on that and you see all the folders with the fonts in it. And it's super important that you install all the fonts because when you miss a font, it can happen that it doesn't show you the title. So if you go through the font and right up here, we see uh, this font up here, you want to install, um, of course, the right font. So you see a few different fonts you can install and we want to install the true type font title. So how to do this, click on your right and install for all users. If there is another folder, double click on it and you see that the, this folder provides even more fonts. And also right up here, let me select the type. You want to install the open type font. So select every single thing, click on your right and install for all users. Then we see read me, we see a text document. And if you double click on it, you see that is the license. And right up here, you see you can use it for free, including commercial use. Then you have the installation guide. So right up here, if you follow these steps, you can install your fonts and macro files into DaVinci Resolve. I create one for a Mac OS and for Windows and Linux. It's basically the same, but sometimes it can be tough to do it. So that's why I created this video. And then this is very important. Uh, this is read, <laughs> so that means you need to read it because I don't sell any of these fonts. Very important. I only sell my designs that I created with the font. These fonts are from Fontdesk and if you go to Fontdesk, so if you click this one, you uh, select all the fonts that you can use for free for your commercial use. So what I did, I put in all the work to make the design, download the font, to like pick different fonts and put them together. So I did all the work already for you, but these fonts are basically free uh, for personal use and commercial use. So you can use them in your project. The only thing that you need to do is to go to the website and download these fonts. But to make life a bit more simple, I include these fonts already in a folder. So after we installed all the fonts, we want to install the macro files. So the titles into DaVinci Resolve. The first thing that we want to do is we want to search for the path where we want to install these titles into. How can you find this? There are a few different ways. You go to my installation guide and then you select this path right up here and you go to windows, you copy paste this path and that's one way to go. If you can't find it with this installation guide, then I would advise you to open up DaVinci Resolve. All right, so you open up DaVinci Resolve. I created a quick fusion composition. Then you go to the fusion tab. Right here, you want to grab this text title, connect it with the media out, and then you're gonna select this text title, click on your right, go to macro, create macro, Close it again. Yes, you want to save it. This is the path that you need to use to import these titles. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on this. You're gonna click on your right. You're gonna copy that path. You're gonna close everything again. Then in our documents, we're gonna paste this path, paste it and hit enter and we see that we are now in macros. And this is not the path that you want to paste your titles. So you want to go back to Fusion. If you have the free version of DaVinci Resolve, 
uh, or you have the studio version of DaVinci Resolve, you can use these titles, no problems, but it can happen that you don't see all the folders uh, in the folder. So it's a bit confusing, but I'm gonna show you what I mean. So you have a template right up here. You want to double click on template and then it can happen that you don't see any folders in here. So if you don't see any folders, you need to create a new folder with the name edit. And be aware that you create this folder also with the big letter E, okay? Because DaVinci Resolve is gonna search for that folder in DaVinci Resolve. This is very important because I think a lot of people do this wrong. So I created a new folder, edit, double click on it. It can happen that this is also an empty space. So you want to create a new folder and you want to name it titles also with the big letter T, very important. I did this once with small letters and I could not find my titles. So very important that you write this with the big title, <laughs> with the big letter T, titles. And I'm gonna show you why, because also up here, it's written with the big T. After that, you double click on titles. So now you are in the right path, to paste all of your titles. Okay, so how to do that? Go back to my film pack. Then you go back to film titles. You're gonna control A. You're gonna copy everything. And then you're gonna paste it in the right path. So once you did this, you can restart DaVinci Resolve and you're good to go to use the titles. So let's do this. And the first thing that you want to do before we're gonna work with the film titles is that you want to put safe area on. I will show you what it will do. You go up here to view and then you click on safe area on. So now you can really work precise with your titles. So now we created the safe area. We want to find titles that fit our video clip. So how to do this, go to effect, click on it, and then you go to titles and then you can write in the title that you want or you just simply hover over the title and you see an example of it. It can happen that you don't see a title. And when that is the case, that means that the color is black. I will show you what I mean. So drag this title to the timeline and you don't see anything. So now you want to generate a different background color. How to do that? Go to generators, click on solid color, drag it under the title and give it a different color. Click on inspector, click on color, change it to white, and there you see the title. Next, let's grab some cool titles that fit this uh, video clip. So let's go to titles. And one of my favorite title is this one, SpaceX, and drag it on top of the video clip. And then you have two functions up here in the inspector tool. You have the titles, where you can really manipulate the name of the title, the colors, uh, the position, and you have settings. And when you're done with creating your title, you can manipulate like the whole title design with your settings. So if you want to make everything bigger, you just simply hit zoom all the way in or zoom all the way out. If you want to go back to normal, click on this icon and it's back to normal. If you want to change the position, you can do that also in here, or you want to pull it to the left or to the right, double click and it's back to normal. But we want to change the name of this title. So let's go to title and let's give it a different name. So let's name it Interstellar. So right up here, you see the title is way too big. So pretty easy, let's change the size, make it smaller, something that you prefer, something like this. So then you can track the title, so you can make the space between the letters bigger and wider. I like this one a lot, something like this. And then we, you can do even more, you can change the position, pull it up, pull it to the left, to the right, double click, you're back to normal. And you can change the X, so we want to give it number two, so interstellar two. And also here we want to give it two. So now these twos are on top of each other. And you see a lot of function up here. 
Uh, so yeah, basically you can change the two. You can pull it up, you can pull it down. Then you see the type, center, length, angle, and glow. So what does this mean? That's basically the blur effect. You can change it from centered to linear, and then you can change the length of it. You can change the angle, and you can make it glow even more or less. Sometimes it's not on the right spot, so you need to search a little bit for that, but that's the way how uh, DaVinci Resolve saves these macro titles. So now you see the blur effect of this two is up here, okay? So let, let's blur it, something like this, or let's make this really sharp. Then you can change, of course, this name as well, and you can change the position if you want. So let's put this all the way to the top. And let's also put this to the top. Mm, let's copy this to make sure we have the right amount. We're in the same level. And then we also want to pull this title up here. Go to center, copy it, and boom. Let's say we want to pull the two down, okay? So let's go to the first two. Let's search for the center point and let's pull it down. Let's make it smaller. And let's change the, the length of the blur effect, something like this. And let's go to the second two. Let's also pull it down, center, let's pull it down. So let's make the second two even smaller. So let's go to the second two. And let's search for size. Yeah. All right. This is good. Then we go to the blur effect from the second two. Oh, yeah. This is way better. Let's create another title. Thunder. I love this one as well. You pull it in. Um, let's go to Thunder. Let's change the color to yellow. Let's change the background color to black. And you see the nice glow up here that I really like. If you want to make it less glow, you can have fully control up here. So one effect these film titles have is the defocus size effect. So what does this effect do to your film titles? If you increase this effect, you see your title will get less sharp. And with the film titles, like the old school film titles in the cinema, for example, they are never uh, so sharp. So I really like the, the look of it. And if you increase it, increase it, increase it, you can't read it, of course, but you understand the effect. And if you double click on it, it's back to the default settings that I prefer this title to. All right, so everything you see on this screen up here, you can manipulate right here. All right, my friends, that was it for today. I showed you just a few titles, but I created a pack with 66 film titles that you can use for your wedding films, for your commercial films or even for your short films. So if you don't want to spend all the time of creating your own titles, you can always check out my 66 film titles in the link below. Yeah, I hope you have a great day. And if you like this video, please subscribe. Have a good day, enjoy it. And I will check you out in my next one. Bye bye.